In part two of the Creating a Graph tutorial, I will show you how to create a graph using the Plot Setup dialog. The Plot Setup dialog is useful for a variety of plotting tasks, including creating graphs, modifying of plot type, adding or removing plots from the graph, grouping or ungrouping of plots, and editing of the plot range. Continuing with the same workbook of data, I want to make sure that no range is selected. I'm then going to click on the Plot, Multi-Curve, 4-Panel Plot Type. Without any data selected, Origin will open the Plot Setup dialog, allowing me to choose the data that I wish to plot. I'm going to right-click to shrink the panel. I'm then going to click on the up arrow to show the available data and the bottom arrow to show the plot list. I wish to plot the data from all three worksheets, so I'm going to shift select the three worksheets. In the middle panel, common columns in all three sheets are displayed. In this case, all three sheets have similar data with same column names. I'm going to click this double arrow to show the plottable column list. This mode is easier because you don't have to check the X and Y designation checkboxes. In layer 1, I want to plot delta temperature from all three sheets. In layer 2, I want to plot magnetic field from all three sheets. And repeat for layer 3, plotting position from all three sheets. And notice in this way that it automatically groups the three data plots. I'll click OK to create the graph. I plot it into the four panel plot template. But I don't need this fourth layer, so I can delete it and then create my own graph template to reuse with similar data. After selecting the fourth layer, I can press the delete key on the keyboard. I now wish to rearrange my panels or layers, so to do that I select Graph Layer Management. On the Arrange tab, I wish to arrange as one column by three rows. I'm going to then show the axis frame and in the spacing set the vertical gap to zero. After clicking apply I can click OK to close the dialog. Let me change the orientation of the page to portrait. To do that I select file page setup. If I wish to align my y-axis titles, I can shift select them and use the object edit toolbar. To update the legends, I click on graph, update legend. I can choose last used, which will actually use the worksheet names because that's the last time I had used this feature. I can click to reposition the legend. Again, we can use the Object Edit toolbar. Refresh the graph if needed. Once we've done customizing, we can save it as a template to do that, I click on File, Save Template As. In the dialog that opens, we see the name of the template that was used to create the graph. I want to give it some new name. And then click OK to save my template. There's a message output to the script window telling you where it's saved, which is, by default, your user files folder. Let's go back to the workbook and I can show you how to plot into your custom template. I'll select Plot Template Library. In the User Defined category, under my graph templates, I see my Pan 3. I click Plot 
Because nothing was highlighted in the worksheet, the Plot Setup dialog opens, and I can repeat the steps before to plot the data. Shift Select all three sheets. Layer 1 is selected down here. I add Delta Temperature. Data is automatically grouped. Select Layer 2. Add Magnetic Field and repeat for layer 3. Click OK and the graph is automatically created. This concludes this part of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.